man of your nightmares is back in the film that started it all. It's the original Nightmare on Elm Street, starring Freddy Krueger and 21 Jump Street's Johnny Depp, Thursday at 8. Now, see for yourself why Fox News is making news. Our own Fox News at 10 has been sweeping awards for best investigative reporting and received the prestigious Emmy for LA's best daily newscast. Join us for Fox News at 10, next on Fox 11. Fox News at 10 is next tonight. The race between Michael Dukakis and George Bush is getting closer here in California. We'll have the latest as campaign 88 hits the home stretch. Plus, we'll see videotape as hostage Terry Anderson charges President Reagan with abandoning Americans being held in Lebanon. Nearly $100 million has been spent to convince you to vote for or against auto insurance propositions. Tonight, we'll push the ads aside and find out what the initiatives really do. And Eric Burns begins a special series on why network TV is driving the viewers away. And we'll have a live report from one of the Southland's biggest and most colorful Halloween parades. I'm Bill Redeker. I'm Kirsty Wilde. Fox News at 10 is next. So far, it is a quiet Halloween night in Southern California, but that does not mean that people aren't partying and having a good time. And one of the biggest parties is the Mardi Gras in West Hollywood. Janet Zapala's out there checking up on all the fun. Janet, how's it going? Bill, uh, Halloween is really an event here in West Hollywood where every year the city blocks off a portion of Santa Monica Boulevard from La Cienega to Doheny so that a colorful costume crowd, as you can see, can parade the streets on this Halloween night. A very vociferous crowd, I might add, as well. But there were other things going on around town tonight, and here's how it looked. In true Halloween form, there were youngsters dressed in their favorite costumes and pumpkins aplenty, about 50 tons worth, free for the asking after five tonight at Arturo's in Hollywood. If you had muscles enough to cart one out or roomy trick-or-treat bags to fill, this pumpkin patch was the place to be. Then there was Hollywood Boulevard, where costumes came in every shape and facial feature. A cowboy, Hollywood style, also moseyed on up. But the biggest crowd by far tonight had to be at the LAPD's Wilshire Division, where about a thousand cheering children lined up around the block for a hair-raising tour of the police department's first ever haunted house. And finally, what better night to tie the knot than the most romantic of all the holidays? This couple, all decked out in their Halloween best, said their I do's in North Hollywood tonight where obviously tradition was the furthest thing from their minds. So there you have it. Halloween, 1988, right here in the Southland. And uh, a lot more partying to be had here in West Hollywood because the, uh, the streets will be closed off here on Santa Monica Boulevard until 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. These people have a lot left still to do on Halloween this Monday night. I'm Janet Zapala reporting live from West Hollywood. Back to you in the studio. Okay, thanks, Jen. Don't that's turn a, around. That's a live snake. There's a snake behind <laughs> yeah. you. All right, coming up, a spider's web full of propositions about car insurance is facing California voters next week. And when we come back, we will begin a special series of reports that should help you unravel the mess. Plus, Eric Burns will tell us why we shouldn't expect too much from network television this fall. See? A synchronized swim team couldn't have done it any better. Of course, I'll step into your office. When we return, we'll find out how long the sunny skies and warm temperatures will last. Plus, there were horrible sights on and off the field in Indianapolis on this Halloween night. Rick Garcia will have the frightening details. <laughs>